the, what's interesting about Port Royal and emancipation is, is this. In the final Emancipation Proclamation, you know, many people say that the Emancipation Proclamation didn't actually free anybody on the day it was issued. It did not simply free all the slaves. It left out the border states, which were still in the Union, and also Lincoln exempted uh, of certain areas of the South that were under Union control, or at least he said were under Union control, some parts of eastern Virginia, southern Louisiana, and the whole state of Tennessee, which was certainly not under complete Union control, but Andrew Johnson, the uh, military governor there, had urged Lincoln to leave Tennessee out as a way of appealing to uh, whites in the state to come back to the Union. What all those places had in common was that Lincoln thought you had a possible, you know, critical mass of white people who could be lured back into the Union. Around New Orleans, there were a lot of Unionist whites in eastern Virginia and Tennessee, Johnson said. So he exempted th those areas uh, because um, he thought that, um, you know, exempting them was a carrot to white leaders in those areas to come back into the Union, which would be a blow to the Confederacy. What's interesting is he did not exempt the Sea Islands. The Emancipation Proclamation goes into effect January 1st, 1863, right in this area. Here, the several thousand, I don't know how many, tens of thousands of slaves were freed on that day. So when pe some people say Lincoln didn't free anybody, that is not true. There were some areas, some places along the Mississippi River, Arkansas, and this area where, in fact, the Union Army was in control and yet Lincoln didn't exempt it. Why? Why didn't Lincoln exempt it? The reason is there were no whites to appeal to here. The whites had fled. There was no white reconstruction that was going to happen here. And so Lincoln let, let the, he, he, did, he was very careful about designating counties and areas. It wasn't like he forgot about this area. He made the decision to have the Emancipation Proclamation apply immediately in this area. Of course, it applied immediately in most of the South, but those areas were under Confederate control and it couldn't be enforced on that day. But it could be enforced in the Sea Islands and was. So on January 1st, 1863, all these African Americans here in the Port Royal Experiment became legally free, according to the Emancipation Proclamation. This is where the proclamation had its biggest effect on the day it was issued.